Right, I've just come all the way down this amazing pathway with this field here, which is empty, but perfect. Past these uh, uh, rams here with lambs, rams with lambs, and I've arrived at the bottom of the hill, which is Intake Farm. Uh, so I now have to keep going, going through this turnstile here, all the way down there, eventually getting in towards the village where I will then be, oh, there's another waterfall over there apparently. So let's press on. Open the gate. Oh. Go through. Oh. Look at that amazing wall there. Perfect. I love, I love stone walls. <sighs> what new challenges lie ahead? I think I can see a massive horse. I say, it's probably just a normal sized horse, but all horses are massive to me. I don't like, an I do not like animals bigger than me. If it's a cow, I'm scared. Uh, that was very exciting. I've been, I talked to the, the lady up there and she was, she was saying, it's a cow, it's not a bull. And it's probably more scared of me. <laughs> That's the way they stare at you. I'm just going to ignore them. They're so big. <laughs> I'm completely ignoring them. I'm just walking on through. They have horns. This one's feisty. Smells nice. I do not like the way that one is looking at me. He's quite big, really. <laughs> I'm not looking at them. See, the thing is, they've got calves there. If they have calves, I would have thought they'd be quite protective. Anyway, I've made it through. Oh, there's the bull. Oh my God, the size of it. Look at that guy. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, it's not happy with me. Look at that thing in there. <laughs> I'm such a coward. Oh, look, a nice wee roadie. Right, so I'm going to head down this road. Sheep over there. Cows over there. Bull behind me. And nothing but my dreams. Look at this thing hovering. See that? This is... What? I have to keep my mouth shut here. There are so many of these fly things around. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. So they don't fly into my mouth. Jeez, just stuck of them. Uh, look up there. Uh, what a fine. The view here is just, just incredible. This is a great walk. Notice there's a little bench here, look. Which I think is rather for the people who have just had to climb the hill ahead rather than a little old me. All I've done is come down this pathway road here from the farm up there. And uh, here we go, Intake Farm, Lewis Shepherdson. Enjoy the countryside he loves, that's nice. Cheers, Lewis. Look at it. A nice little house. Well, I've arrived at a juncture in the road and I'm supposed to take this little path here to the side 
and go down behind the Methodist Hall there. And I can hear on my left the Beck. I think this is actually Little Beck I'm on now. So this is so nice. And I got through these. I am on a film set here. This is incredible. Down through here. Through the lilacs and the daisies and the daffodils. Over this little footbridge. This is the beck. And behind the Methodist Hall here. Right, very clear instructions. Cross the lane, which is here, to the track here, opposite. And there should be another little footbridge right at the bottom. The sun has come out, which is currently behind me, or directly over there, which is why the picture doesn't look so good. Here's a footbridge. Oh, some people are so lucky to live here. I mean, I love it. River's getting wider. There's a canoe over there. Look at these houses. Oh, look at this life. Uh oh, this is what I feared. That would have a bit of a climb ahead. <laughs> and so it begins. Well, that's the result. I was just down there dreading the fact that I had a, a big climb up this hill. And then I noticed there's a sign here. And it's exactly the sort of sign you want to read. It says, Falling Foss, one mile. That's nothing. Right, so through here. Oh, you can see if that's where I was down there. What was that? Can you see this cars are going past now? Woo! How steep it is! <laughs> Getting a rev up. Right, so I've now crossed the river and I guess I'm going... Soon going to be turning right and back. I think, and I'm hoping, I'm going to have a little bit of woodland all the way back. I should have because it seemed to me that is what's on the other side of the river. I have definitely very much enjoyed this walk. And although you've been enjoying it from, hopefully, from the comfort of wherever it is you're watching this, I'd like to know, actually, where are you watching this video? Um, the quality of the camera, uh, which is very smooth, is making it so that it looks a, a lot easier than it is. Although I'm sure a professional walker would laugh at me saying something like that about this particular walk. Uh, well, I'm supposed to go on that. It's a bridge. Okay, I'm on it. Oh, Little Beck Wood Nature Reserve. Twenty-six hectares. Badgers, tree creepers. A oh, roe deer. So I've uh, worked a lot in television. I've done live outside broadcasts for BBC One as producer. I've Produced, written, and directed 52 half hour tech shows. Uh, with, well, we had, uh, for that, we had the presenter 
as a presenter, Charlie Brooker, who went on to be the creator of Black Mirror, I've um, met pretty much all my heroes. I've worked in a recording studio with my boss being the producer of the Beatles, George Martin. I've, uh, what else have I done? I've traveled the world. I've made six one hour documentaries for Discovery. I've uh, shot with police at high speed chases. There's a lot of experience there. I felt I should write it down and share it because I've had bad experiences too and I've done lots of things wrong. And it's got, can only help the trade, right? If you share what mistakes you've made to try and warn other people about making them. And one of the problems I'm finding with the industry at the moment, good God, I'm high up, is that uh, people are a little bit, it's, it's a bit easy to get into and it's hard to specialize. You find that when uh, there's a job, uh, for the younger people, if there's a job, it'll say, oh, we want people who have done this type of show before. Well, if that's the request, how are people going to become diverse in their skill sets? They need to do lots of different types of shows. I mean, essentially the job is pointing cameras at people and filming stuff. I know that is a very watered down dismissive version of what producing and directing and self-shooting is. That's what we do. We don't care what we point it at. Well, we do a little bit, but it's how we do it and how we motivate people to speak on camera and how we conduct the conversation so that it stays on point and in a certain direction. And that's conducting interviews. But skills like that are kind of uh, not encouraged really. Because what people do is they're told to shoot the uh, sh out of it. Shoot the sh out of it. What that means is give the editor everything. Just film the whole day. Give the editor everything because we don't want you to miss anything. And frankly, we don't trust you to, to know when to switch the camera on or when to switch the camera off. So. I want to help. It's another little waterfall. A little tiny waterfall, quite high up here. It's a bit scary. Well, I'm scared of heights, you see. Going down past the waterfall now, turning round, again crossing the river. God damn it. God, this is so good. Another bridge up there. Few steps up to the bridge. Across the bridgey. Don't want to get my stick through the hole again. Oh, this is where the stick comes in really useful. Oh. Over the roots of this tree. Maybe that's why the trees are falling down because people are just People are just uh, hacking away at the roots and the ground around the roots with their shoes. Is this a cave? What's going on here? Look at how boggy it is in there. This is bizarre. Now, do I go right here? I've got a feeling I do. Is that a cave? Well, I checked the book and I'm supposed to go up these steps. It mentioned the cave over there. It said the cave is a relic from the age of aluminum, alum, alum, I don't know, mining, I think. Okay, I'm not very good at climbing these. Let's try this knee. Oh, it's the knees, you see. This knee's strong. I need to work on this other knee, though. Oh. 
this will get better folks as I start to lose more and more weight <sighs> not seeing a soul by the way during this walk oh oh god this is so strange now huge drop down there big weird hill there there's the steps have just come up and now I'm walking around here this is the most pretty route it really is let's see if I can up the pace a little bit oh dear what's this okay there I go what people want to understand is it uses the same muscle of the knee around the knee to get down and I'm deliberately using my weaker knee because I want to make it stronger now this would have been impossible for me like a year ago so yeah boo sucks to you another wee bridgy Uh, which, which, which should I take? The right or the left route? I think I'll go... I think I'll go this one. Immediately regretting it. And we're back into falling down trees. Very nice. It's a bit of a workout all this up and down because here's some steps going down again Ooh. oh this is so good for my so good for me this <clears throat> a bit flat a flat bit ish We have a tree right in the middle of the path. It's just like how the path is going around the tree like this. Let's walk around the tree. And another little bridgey. I told you that a lady had pointed out to me that they let the trees just fall here. Now here is a tree that's been cut clearly just because it's dangerous. People would bang their head on that. And there's another one that's been cut because it's blocking the path. So, you know, within reason, they do cut the trees. <sighs> Yet another little bridgey, although probably more accurately, I should call it like a platform. Saving me from having to walk in, I think, essentially bog, boggy land. Again, we're following the river, which is deep down there. Look. Untouched. Unfettered. On we go. The last 10 minutes it's been just uphill and when I say uphill I don't mean a gentle incline I mean 45 degree uh, steps or paths in the roots and I'm really feeling it and I've got more to do I don't look at Google Maps to find out how close I am to the car but uh, oh I'm sweating like mad this bit is really hard. It's the prettiest bit. Well, it's not the prettiest actually, but it's pretty. But it's hard. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I should probably stop. I am parched. I've got my eyes or my mind on an ice lolly from somewhere. I'm told the road's only 10 minutes, so that's good. I'm gonna get some pace up actually. Oh, another little cavey thing. Interesting, let's have a look. It's a rock with a doorway. And this weird arch, arch thing here. This interesting little folly is known as the Hermitage. It does appear to be literally carved out of a boulder, a rock, or the rock of the earth. And uh, somebody ju somebody's just taken it upon themselves to make a little shelter there. It's nice. I like little things like that. Good for them. Right, trusty stick. Let's keep going. The guidebook says, ignore the pathway to the right and keep going left. Not far to go. Well, it doesn't look like it, but that's a very steep climb and it's right at the end of the trail now. That's the finish just there. So I've done it. So that is it. The three and a half miles is complete uh, and I'm done. Until the next video, thanks for watching this one and bye. Like if you liked this video or you can be bold and leave a comment down below hit the notification bell to get an alert so i can tell you i've uploaded the video and it is okay it is okay it is okay i think it's probably quite average it'll be all right